Hello, welcome back to a new video. In today's video, we'll be focusing on how to, how to find the missing terms of a polynomial when given the point of inflection. So let's first read the question. If the graph y is equal to x cubed plus ax squared plus bx minus 4 has a point of inflection at 1 comma negative 6, what is the value of b? So we need to find this term right here, the b. So typically we find our points of inflection by taking the double derivative of the initial function. So in this case, it's dx cubed plus ax squared plus bx minus four. So let's take the single derivative of this. So y prime, which is the first derivative, is equal to 3x squared plus 2ax plus b. <clears throat> now we need to take the, we need to take the derivative again. So let's do that. y double prime is equal to 6x plus 2a. So now let's set y double prime to equal 0, or the double derivative of prime to equal 0. So we would say 6 is equal to 6x plus 2a. Now from here, let's move either the 6x or the 2a on different sides. So in this situation, I'm going to choose to move the 6x to the left. Moving 6x on both sides. Got negative 6x is equal to 2a. <clears throat> so first, let's divide the 2 on both sides so we get a by itself. So that gives us a is equal to negative 3x. So we're given the x value because the main statement tells us that the point of inflection is at the point 1 comma negative 6. So the x value here is 1. So let's just plug in 1 and see what we get. So negative 3 times 1 is just negative 3. So that equals a. That equals a. So from here, we would have to plug it into the original equation. So again, since we're given the y value with the point of inflection is negative 6, we would set the entire initial function of x cubed plus ax squared plus bx minus 4 and set that to equal to negative 6. So let's do that. So we got negative 6 is equal to 1 cubed plus negative three times one squared plus b times one minus four. So the reason why we get one cubed is because we plugged in the one from the point of inflection, the x value, and we plugged in for the y value, the negative six that we're given. So, so from here, it's just algebra. So we'd get one plus negative three plus b minus four <clears throat> equal to negative six. So let's combine everything we can. So we get negative two minus four plus b. So that is negative six. That's negative six plus b is equal to negative 6. So let's add negative 6 on both sides. So we're adding negative six, we're adding plus 6. We're adding 6 on both sides, which gives us 0 is equal to b. And that is our final answer.
Thank you all for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video.